and then you've got the two towers. I and there's the comet. See it? I hope you saw it. Now that building stood. What a trim, just an incredible amount of destruction, but. Destruction can come quickly. Destruction can happen a number of different ways. What I find to be curious is the construction, construction, because that's much harder to do. Now, see the base of that tower towards the right of your screen? Now watch this. Pan up. There's tons of wires going back and forth. They didn't break in the earthquake. And look at that. It's got a little onion dome. Towers to the domes. And what is that supposed to be? You can tell me that's a flagpole on the top. <laughs> hmm, it's certainly a broadcast antenna. There's a big fellow back there in the middle. If there were people inhabiting the place when it was destroyed, which I'm not sure. And that, now the, look at all those things going up on that side of that building. That was weird. The electrical stuff, it held pretty well intact. Amazing. There was a theory that somebody said that I find interesting. I don't think it's true, but I do think it's interesting to consider. And the implications are such that even though I give it a less than 1% chance of being true, I'm going to state the theory. Oh, uh, well, okay, in a minute. This is kind of gruesome. I don't know if that person's alive. It doesn't look like it. And I think what they were doing, they're being like, they were punished for um, looting. But it's just a kid, folks. I mean, come on. Looting, and that's just too severe. Whatever he did, I mean, that's too severe. And nobody's really happy about that, really. I mean, nobody should be. It's just ridiculous crap. They're all in uniforms. Like, did the authorities do that? Who did it? And why, I wonder. Even if, if it's a stated reason. You know, I don't necessarily believe it. If it is stated by the officials who carried out the act of punishment, that's just extreme and cruel and severe. Yeah, but anyway, uh, the theory or the hypothesis that somebody had, boy, they even had enough time to put a fence up there, a bunch of fences. Why would they fence it off? What's so secret? Strange. Uh, but the theory, they said those towers we were seeing, the, those like electrical utility poles with all the horizontal beams with the insulators and the wires on them, and sometimes they don't have wires on them. You'd think in, with this earthquake that they wouldn't have wires on them in this case, but they do. Um, the, the thing about it is the, um, the, well, the theory was that the, it was like 5G type thing. And once it's all in place and working and, and people are all dependent on it and they get enough information about people's, for lack of a better term, whereabouts. Uh, ooh, look at that back there. That kind of looks mud floody. Maybe it's just a hill. But anyway, um, that somehow that is the cause of the destruction. Because you oftentimes, when you see these scenes of destruction, you have those towers there, and they're usually undamaged, the towers themselves. Mm -hmm. And it's just like how a bomb blast or something akin to a bomb blast, uh, when it occurs, if you are actually right in the epicenter of it, the pressure wave goes out in every direction, and being right next to the bomb, if you're not shrapnelized, there's actually less damage than further away from the blast, because the shock wave, um, it, it just has less punch. Um, because you're too close to it. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like when you're uh, struck by lightning, like uh, Alex Aquarius said he was really close to a lightning strike and uh, it wasn't l very loud to him because the shock wave went out in all directions from where he was. Um, but yeah, all this construction. Now, I find the construction more curious than the destruction. For starters, why are the walls so thick? Maybe because they knew there was a, an earthquake risk or danger, so they made the walls very, very thick. But that didn't work out. Um, newly planted trees. Some of the trees have no leaves, some of them do. I find that curious. There's a safe pulled out. So, you know, why would they build it so much stuff out of brick if it's an earthquake zone? Why would they make the windows and floors so high? So high. 
and why would everything be so fine? And they have metal utility poles, and they have electricity out the wazoo. Wow, the bank building's mostly intact, but I, I said wow because there was some damage. I was surprised that there'd be much of any damage because somehow, somehow, in all these, quote, natural disasters, the banks are um, <laughs> mostly un, unharmed, untouched. That's a big fellow in the background. Perspective should have him smaller. There, the tree on the right, no leaves. Tree on the left, leaves. Weird. And the tree on the right with no leaves is right next to one of these electrical towers, these metal poles. What is, what's, what's that pole doing? Is that 5G? What are those poles doing? Why are they so tall? One of, the one on the left here has a light, I think, but a light that high up. What does it do for anybody, honestly? When you have a light that high up, the intensity has to be so much greater. If you're trying to light the street, that's just not the way to do it, unless you have a really well-made reflector, which I doubt. I don't know. Maybe it's possible. Maybe they did that. Doorways are much too high. Same old story. Everyone's kind of in a uniform. They're a little bit overdressed. Was the past cold? Was it always cold? Because people are dressed... If I dressed like they did back then, it'd have to be like 50 degrees out with a breeze for me to be comfortable. And I can handle heat pretty well nowadays. There was a time for a while there I wasn't able to handle heat very well, but I'm fine with it now. Hey, there's one pole that's leaned over. That's amazing. Um, yeah, these doors. Look how tall those utility poles are. Why would they have to be that tall? Well, voltage. It's atmospheric energy, I think. Well, they had electric streetcars, it looks like, but they got horses pulling them now. What was that, a water tower? Horses pulling an electric streetcar on rails. It makes no sense to have a horse pulling something on rails because it's all about the momentum, baby. That's why rails are so efficient, and they are. Rails make sense, they're so efficient. Someday we'll figure it out. <laughs> You know how they calculate miles per gallon, and uh, you figure that against like people badmouth SUVs. But let's say a a seven seater SUV, if you have all the seats filled, miles per gallon, you know it's gets better gas mileage than a motorcycle. Um, but you compare that to like a, a train, and it's there's, it's amazing how much more efficient the train is. So here we have. Some destruction you can kind of see in. Boy, whoever was in there was lucky, maybe. If anybody uh, was allowed to survive, you know. Cause sometimes I get the feeling it was like a kill event. Boy, that looks like a wide, I don't know. It looked like a widescreen television back there a little bit in the back, in the top left. Uh, a little bit back. You'd have to s swipe back, fast scroll back. So these, um, those light poles look about exactly the same as the ones in St. Petersburg, which you'll get to see later. We are in Chile. The year is 1906. Look at that electrical tower in the back, man. The, um, what just happened, well, reportedly an 8.2 magnitude earthquake. There's one of those um, obelisk things. What's the point? What's, why did that have to be everywhere? Um, and there's a comet. There's a comet in the sky. And back then, they seemed to be certain that comets were trouble. There's an onion dome, a Broadcast, receiving, tower, and then a bunch of wires and insulators. But they have built those big steel electrical towers. Where are the, where are all the, you know, bring out your dead type things? I mean, I guess there are some things that could be that. I don't see anybody, like, reeling from a horrible uh, smell, which you would have uh, after this, you know, because of the... So I'm thinking maybe the city was empty when this destruction happened. They did know when the comets were coming. There's just so much that we don't know. I mean, I could speculate on and on, but there's so many possibilities. And one of the possibilities is, then this is mentioned by somebody that, that once they get this, once the society advances to the level of having like the 5G type stuff, that it could be switched on 
to the kill mode and any organic being within striking distance of it gets dustified like the leaves of those trees. Um, this took place in October, I think it said. No, it was August. So it is winter. That looks like it says built in 18... I couldn't tell. But yeah, big towers on the top. Those aren't flagpoles. Those are like antenna type things. Was that a clock face or a window? I can't tell. There's a reflection. Looks like electrical lights to me. I see wires going across. The wires didn't break. 8.2 magnitude earthquake and the wires didn't break. And look at the size of those doorways. I mean, come on. Looks like that awning was put on later. Trains are fine. Oh, yeah, I'm working on a train video. It's It's got some hello, what's going on moments in it, too. Uh-huh. Not much damage there. Got wires, got your antennas going up. I mean, maybe some of them are flagpoles, but honestly, who needs all those flagpoles? Like, are you wondering, like, what country you're in all the time? <laughs> it's like when you read a book and there's a, the title of the book is in the top of the page and you keep looking at it and it's like, what book am I reading? Oh, yeah. Okay, it's um, War and Peace. Okay. What book am I reading? Oh, it's War and Peace. All right. What book am I reading? Oh, it's War and Peace. You know. I think you could remember it. Well, I see a palmetto there, so that doesn't, that really makes me wonder about the leaves without the trees, because deciduous trees in areas where palmettos grow, they tend to have their spring leaves um, at least past the bud stage by the time the previous year's leaves are falling off. Massive scale buildings. And electrical stuff is everywhere. I mean, 1906... Speaking from the United States, in my own family history, 1906, that would be like the, the time of, you know, my great-grandparents before my grandparents were born, you know, maybe even earlier than that. And they talked about, you know, not really having much uh, in the way of, like, Running water and electricity, you know, was not a common, you know, it wasn't a commodity, you know, like it became, it wasn't there yet. Uh, it wasn't um, a, a given, right? So, why would Chile have had it in spades? It doesn't make sense. It's, it's like those doorway heights. It just doesn't make sense. Um, I mean, they have electrical stuff out the wazoo. Light bulb fell off. So, yeah, that's exactly the same as St. Petersburg that you'll see later on. Yep, they clip it off so you can't see the top. It's not a flagpole. Anyway, I already know that. I mean, sometimes they just, it is because they made it that way, but it's not really, it wasn't the intent, that wasn't the major use of it. All these people in their cult-like black, long sleeve, long arm, long, you know, hats, all the same uniform, cult uniforms. There's, that's a steel crossbeam. Well, it looks like it, it could be wood, I guess, but how could it have been so strong? Those aren't sailboats. Some of them look like they're going pretty fast. Doubt that they're rowboats. Because they're kind of big to be a rowboat. You need a lot of people for the rowing. Looks like an obelisk fell there. Big wide column. Obelisks were everywhere, everywhere. They just, they love those obelisks. And and the electrical rail lines were everywhere, everywhere. What are those? Big stone boulders? 
And then there's rebar coming out of it. Uh, communications to make sure they Huge go. poles, beams. Uh, Monday, Monday morning. Man, that must have been horrendous. Together. Huge yeah, doorways. Yeah, these poles just... I mean, you'd be flabbergasted to see an electrical pole today with that many insulators going up. I mean, it's incredible. And look at that. There's three stories, that building. Are you going to build a building like that? I mean, how is that efficient? I mean, you got to lay brick by brick by brick, and you're going to build that tall. There's That's a light bulb, yeah. Why do the bars have to go up that high? <laughs> I guess it might be a bank or something. But look at the interior doorways, how tall they are. That tells you, folks, that tells you. On the third floor, which is that high, and the doors go up, the interior doors go up that high. That tells you everything you need to know. Don't doubt me. There, you can see somebody on the second floor going through. Big cathedral. Look at the middle of that window opens. Huh. Oh, the parapet fell there. Wow. I don't see women anywhere. I mean, maybe that's one in the back, upper middle, unless that's like a poster or something. It looks like maybe a person. Yep, see those doorways up there? They're real tall. It seems like the inhabitants were giants and they got scared off, left voluntarily, or they were like turned to dust, or they were just killed completely off and cremated. There's no trace of them. I don't know. There's the oldie ladder lean. That's a haphazard stairway. Is it a ladder or a stairway going up? Oh man, I would hate to climb, to climb that. I'm not even afraid of heights, really. More afraid of falling, more afraid of impacting the ground, and even more afraid of what happens after as a result of hitting the ground. <laughs> All right. So this one's wrapping up, and there's a yieldy ladder lean, ha, on a wagon. All right, I just want to take a second and thank my Patreons and all...